Hey guys, welcome in this new video. I hope that all of you are doing great. In today's video, I want to talk about how to adapt basically to the market. Why is this so important and the mindset that you need to have to basically be able to do this. So let's actually get right into it. Make sure as well you are subscribed to the YouTube channel if it's not already done, I would truly appreciate it. And also leave a like under the video, that would mean a lot to me. So how to adapt in trading. Okay, so that's really important, first of all, to cover. That's a really important topic because it could literally just save you from taking a lot of losses, for example, or, you know, just overall increase the probabilities of you succeeding in trading and making better decisions when it comes to what you want to trade. So here's the idea and I will give you guys an example so you will understand fully, you know, what's the context and what I'm really talking about. So let's say that, you know, you look at the market, you, you do your analysis, you see a potential trade setup and you decide to take the trade, right? You decide to jump into the market. So let's say that you do that and let's say that, you know, after, I don't know, 5, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, let's say that you look back at the chart, you think about your trades and you realize that it was maybe not the best opportunity, right? You realize that, yeah, it, like the setup was there, the setup is still there, but you know, is it really a good trade? Is it really a, a market where I want to invest my money? Maybe, maybe not, right? So if you arrive to this conclusion, if you, you know, make this realization with your trade, well, you need to not be afraid to close the trade, okay? And the reason why I'm recording this video and the, the idea that uh, that came to my mind is uh, from a trade that happened this morning in my trading. I took a trade, uh, at first I liked the setup, you know, um, I did my analysis, but then uh, 10 minutes after I re-looked at the chart and I saw something that I haven't seen before. Uh, I missed something on the, on the chart that I should have taken uh, a look at and because of that I decided that the trade was probably not the best. I mean, you know, in terms of probabilities, the trade was not really, you know, in my favor um, and in, also in terms of risk to reward ratio, for example, the trade was not the best. So I took this trade this morning and by the way, it's not just an example, like it, it really happened. I took this trade this morning, I looked at it once again 10 minutes after, I saw something else and I decided to just close the trade because I didn't really like the setup anymore because of the uh, one thing that I noticed on the chart. So you see, I changed my mind about my trading, okay? Now, what is important to understand is that you need to have a balance between being able to adapt on the market and also not being too reactive, right? So just because you take a trade and the first candle goes against you, it doesn't mean that it's a bad trade. It doesn't mean that this trade will not work out, right? So there's a balance that you need to have between adapting and also sticking to your plan. But if, for example, just like my situation, you really look at the chart, you see something that you don't like, don't be afraid to close the trade, you know, don't be afraid. Even if you take a very, very small loss, so just to continue on my example, I took a 0.1% loss, right? So that's a break-even trade, basically, because it, like anything between, let's say, you know, 0.3 or 0.5 for me, I will consider that as a break-even trade. Whether it's a win or a loss, I don't really care. For me, those are break-even trades, you know, because they are too small profit or losses to be considered as winning or losing trade. So I took a break even trade this morning, but I didn't, you know, hesitate to close the trade, even if it was a very small loss, you know, because a lot of people, they, they have their ego in place, right? They trade with their emotions, they trade with their ego. And because of that, they will say, oh no, I took a trade there. It's a little loss right now. I don't feel comfortable with closing the trade. Even if they know on a subconscious level, that they should be closing the trade because they don't want to be in this trade. And so what happens? Well, most people will keep those trades that they don't want to be in, as I said, and they will take losses like that, okay? Uh, and as a matter of fact, the, the trade that I closed this morning, I made the right decision because now it's already going against the position that I had taken and I would be in a loss right now on this trade. So you see, like that, just to give you an example, but that I think that really illustrates well what I'm talking about in this video. So you need to not be afraid to adapt. You need to not be afraid to change your mind if you, for example, notice something new on the chart, right? And so the best way that you can do that is to simply, um, you know, not have your ego in your trading. As I said, most people, they want to be right, you know, like most people in trading, their goal is to be right. Their goal is to make uh, and to be in the right direction in the market. 
My goal as a trader is just to make money. I don't care how often I'm right. I don't care how often I'm wrong. Like it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters for me is if I'm able to make money and grow my account. If that's the case, I'm happy with that, you know? So it's it's a really important mindset that, that you need to have. One of my favorite quote as well, um, you know, that you can use and implement into this um, is a quote by, uh, Bruce Lee, if I don't, uh, if I don't mistaken, and he simply said, "Be like water, right?" So what does that mean? Be like water. Well, I'll show you guys. Here I have a bottle of water. So what does that mean? Be like water. Well, if I take the bottle, out, right, and do this, look at the water. The water will follow the movement, right? You see, the water always adapts to its environment. So that's what it means. You need to be able to adapt. You need to be like water. If you put you know, water into a very small cup, the water will concentrate into the form of the small cup. If you put water in a pool, the water will you know, take the, the place of the pool, right? So the water will adapt depending on its environment. Same thing in trading. You need to adapt to the environment and what you see on the market. So if you decided to take a trade, but then you realize that it's probably not the best trade, it's probably not a good opportunity enough to risk your money, just close the trade. It doesn't matter if there is a small profit, it doesn't matter if there is a small loss or break even, like it doesn't matter. If you notice something different, you can close the trade, right? Don't be afraid to do this. Once again, as I said before, um, there is a balance between adapting and sticking to your plan, but this balance comes from understanding what you're doing and you know just trading without your emotions. So this is not something that I can really do for people or even teach because trading, you know, without your emotions comes from having the the right mindset, which I already made tons and tons and tons of videos about trading mindset. So at this point, I hope you guys are getting quite good, <laughs> right? Because otherwise, I don't know how can I help you. I mean, I'm covering like all the mindset topics possible. Of course, I'm keeping a lot of it as well for you know reversal master. But I mean, that's that's the idea. Um, and by the way, if you guys are interested in the course, uh, I know I don't say it quite often, but here I'll say it. Uh, if you are interested in the course that I do, uh, the link is always in the description, so you guys can check it out. Um, and see what you can get from uh, joining us. Um, but so that's basically the idea of this video. Um, so don't forget to adapt uh, and also well stick to your plan. Find the balance between those two, and that will make you a better trader. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. That would mean a lot to me. And you can also share the video around you. I would truly appreciate it. So with that, take care, trade with care, manage money well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.